Well, welcome back to another episode of the Hearthstone Report. This is going to be a long episode, I already know this. Because today we're going to have all the remaining cards from Masterclass Rumble to be yes. revealed and reviewed throughout the entire week. So they if, were all released. If I didn't miscount, it's 68 cards, but there's mm -hmm. some other quick news we have to get through. Let's do that first. Um, there is a developer inside article that has been posted about the science behind the balancing in Arena. Playhearthstone.com, link is in the description. Yeah, so basically, if you want to know more about what they're thinking when they're balancing Arena, you know, look sure. at that. The next Meta stuff. thing, probably a bit more important, uh, let's actually go to this first. The, there is a Show Your Team Spirit yes. uh, article that they released, which Which is, you should do. Yeah, which you can choose one of the nine teams for the uh, Ruskas Rumble and get a chance to win one card pack when the expansion launches if you pick the correct team. You gotta pick the correct team? I think so. I thought you get one either way. Well, how's, how's the correct one determined? Choose one of the teams that best represents you or one card pack. I don't know. The way it says it, it's just like, oh yeah, you, you pick the team and you, you, you just pick any team and you get a pack. Okay, fair enough. I think that's how they that's how they do it. I mean, whatever, but go Rhinos. I mean, usually uh, usually they do those for the tournaments. And it's like, yeah, exactly. Pick the winner and you get like five packs to pick but the correct winner. But they don't have winner. a tournament routine classes yeah, no, there. Anyways, a new update was released in Hearthstone. Game mechanics update. Uh, believe it or not, it added all the Rostock yeah. Rumble cards. It added four new card packs. Go check out some of the flavor text, they're crazy good. But, uh, most importantly is that they made some changes to all the gameplays. One is that Choose One Minions now display what they are transformed into rather than just the bonuses that they get. So, the Druid of a Claw will now just show a 4-4 charge beast and a 4-6 yeah. taunt beast, rather than saying gain charge or gain taunt and plus two. Well, it's, it's, it's now it says Druid of the Claw. Instead of saying bear form or cat form, right? Well, yeah, but before it used to be displayed as uh, plus, uh, plus O plus 2 and taunt, I believe. No, it says transform into a 4 forward charge, and uh, that that was the same. Well, it transformed into, yeah, but, yeah. but it, it, now it actually shows the final transformation. Yeah. Of course, made because of the War Master when Lodi or whatever when name you're is. choosing, exactly. Because uh, with Lodi, you gotta remember it, first of all. Uh, the... They added a rank 20 floor, which is to say that if you ever reach rank 15, you will never, ever, ever be able to fall never. under rank 20 again. Never. Which is good. At least in the same region. If yeah. you are in yeah, a different region, those are considered completely separate accounts, of course. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. They mentioned Winter Vale, which just means that Christmas they're special. doing a Christmas event. They've done that every year. We'll talk more about that when they reveal when the it, details. Exactly. We'll They'll around. probably get a free card and there's going to be a yeah. few special tavern brawls, but again... Uh, Maybe another happy goal. I think I already said there's four new card packs. Big deal. Some of them are pretty cool. I like the pizza one a lot. I like the January I mean, one a lot. The Rumble Run one is pretty cool. The January That's one right. is pretty cool. And there's some more game mechanics updates. First of all, when there's multiple damage reduction effects uh, that chain with one another, uh, one each will trigger once, and redirected damage is applied before modifiers and will only damage the final target once. Yeah, that's a new update. Um, that's, I think that's pretty reasonable, yeah, yeah. Th that probably keeps the effects a bit more consistent. Uh, they added a black and purple sparkle effect to indicate when cards are, uh, affected, when healing effects are affected by something like Akrai, uh, yeah. Soul Priest, so, that of course, again, is thinking about one of the new cards being added, and that's, it, that's good visual effect. it's mostly nice for new players, or just if you're not thinking yeah. about it, you will now definitely yeah, be aware that that's, that's good, yeah. Just like with spell damage when the cards are uh, glittering, that's good. And the rogue quest, the crystal core, will now uh, apply to minions in your deck rather than when they're drawn. Right. Which means that if someone were to steal your deck, they would now get the buffed minions. Yes. And you would be left, if, if it's for example talk waggle, you would be left with uh, the unbuffed Right. ones from your opponent's deck rather than drawing to the buffed ones. I think, overall, this technically makes the quest slightly weaker. Mm, probably, yeah. Because for edge cases like uh, Benedictus and Togwaggle, your opponent now gets more of a yeah. profit out of it. Yeah, I can see that. Which means they nerfed the quest for the third time. Yeah, it's alright though. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it anyway. It's okay, I'm on cool with this. Uh, and some other stuff that's not that not important enough to Yeah, there, just, there's a few bug fixes, bug fixes some stuff. UI changes. Well, small UI changes. Um, we ain't got the time for that. 
We do have to talk about 68 cards. 68 cards. cards. So last time we finished up with the uh, Spirit of the Frog, I believe. Yes. So today the, the first card is going to be Crowd Roaster. 7 mana, 7, 4 dragon neutral. Battle Cry, if you're holding a dragon, deals 7 to an enemy minion. Needs a lot of dragon support in the deck. If it's, if like a controlled type of dragon priest or warrior is going to emerge, I can see this C play. But it's also not that strong. It's it, it itself is not that strong, and seven mana has a lot of lot of mana to pay for that. Yeah, um, the warrior Loa is Akali the Rhino. It's an eight mana five five beast with rush and overkill. Draw a rush minion from your deck. Give it plus five plus five. That looks potentially pretty good. So it itself having rush. Uh, we talked about that with Undasa before. Yeah. Guarantees that it can get off the overkill. If you played at a reasonable time, yeah. uh, that means you are getting the draw at least once, probably exactly once, if your opponent can remove it. Yeah. Which means... Also, this works well with its own spirit, because then Rush Minions have immune, right, to turn their summon. Yes. So that's pretty good. And, Makes it harder to remove yeah. And, like, for example, drawing a Darius Crowley and give it plus five, plus five... Seems pretty good. Seems well, decently strong. You can't assume the best case. You have to kind of assume the average yeah. case here and well, the variance. Well, that's the idea, right? But yeah, the idea is that you're effectively getting 10-10 stats yeah. with a slight delay for half the stats, and you're getting card draw for eight mana. Yeah. That's pretty good. Any minion, and you're getting a rush out of it, or two rush rather. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So I, I like that. See if it if it finds a deck to go into. It's the beating roar. Six mana druid spell, summon a random beast from your hand and give it a rush. That's okay, I guess. That's pretty weak sauce. I don't know. I don't know about that. Big beast druid. I mean, doesn't, it, doesn't seem like play. Again, it's not great, but I think it's okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure it's going to be played in Hadronox. I don't think so. I don't I don't think the value of getting Hadronox out a few turns earlier yeah. and giving it rush is that much. Maybe it's like for Gonk or something, but I, I, don't, I don't like it that much. Master's Call, three mana... Hunt to spell. Discover a minion in your deck. If all three are beasts, draw them all. I mean, this is a great card. Yeah, that's a really good card. Yeah. Hunter desperately needs to draw. If you can make, if you make that happen, full beast deck. I was about to say the idea is just to run no non-beast minions to guarantee the effect. If mm -hmm. you want to be more specific, you could even only run well two copies of three different beasts to actually get it, know yeah. exactly what you're getting. So yeah, it's, you're gonna run the the subject nine and. Um, I mean it's. It's the a subject nine. It's a tutor. It's a yeah. it's a if, three, if nothing three else. Tutor. If nothing else, it goes to secret hunter. As in, draw your subject nine. I'm if, not sure if it would work if there's just one beast because it says all three, not all. Well, but if there's only subject nine, then you're guaranteed to pick that by the discovery, right? Yeah, you for the discovery, not but not for the draw. Then I'd rather run Stitch Tracker. Yeah, maybe if it doesn't draw yeah. it as well. So that I mean that's I mean I, mean, I do run Stitch Tracker. Yeah. Pretty good, seems right. War Druid Lodi. Three mana, one, two, choose one. Transform into one of Lodi's four dinosaur forms. So she got uh, four different forms, which are all good situationally. Depends on what you need. Very versatile card. Yeah. When you play this in Wild with Fandrel, all four buffs come together. Yeah, that's that important. was crazy. So that's going to be crazy with stealth and poisons and then rush and taunt and whatnot, right? I, I think uh, all individual forms would be okay to good cards. Yeah, it'd be alright. With the versatility to choose which one you need mm -hmm. right now, this is a great card. Yeah, it's not bad. So you always need you always get what you need out of it, basically. There's yeah. no no bad um no bad spot to play this. Big bad voodoo, two mana shaman spell. Give a friendly minion death rattle, summon a random minion that costs one more. So again the uh, kind of evolve sort of idea with the one more. Uh this specifically only works reliably if you're planning to trade off the minion right away. Yeah, otherwise, of course, it can be silenced. It can be silenced. But that can happen to almost everything these it days. It can be bounced, yeah, but... And for two mana, the value is already pretty good if you're casting this on a three draw. Yeah. I think it's valid, then. Yeah. Well, if you're casting it on something a lot better? Yeah, of course. Uh, the best case scenario, I believe, is casting it on a... In fact, technically, like a nine drop, I, I guess. Yeah. Something uh, is something nine or big. seven, I think, is the yeah. sweet spot here. So, so yeah. yeah, we'll see if that season you play. Ember Scale Drake, a five mana, five five dragon for warrior. Battlecry, if you're holding a dragon, gain five armor. I guess it's okay. 
if Dragon Warrior turns out to be a thing, there's probably gold in it. Yeah. Seems, I, seems all right. I mean, I five mean, armor is cool. 5-5 five, five with five armor is an okay card. You want to have dragons in your deck yeah. if you are playing the Dragon Warrior, so I guess this is... Want to enable some of the other dragon cards, so that probably would go in it. Blood Scalp Strategist. Three mana, two, four. For Hunter, if you battle cry, if you have a weapon equipped, discover a spell. That seems okay. Uh, stats are slightly underpowered if you, if you were another card. Yeah. With the battle cry, that's somewhat situational. Kind of compares but can to have a lot of value. Compares to no mission Venor, I guess. Uh, Pretty good. Yeah. Also, this again important. Hunter doesn't have any or doesn't have that much card mm-hmm. draw, so card generation, of course, goes in a similar idea. Discovering a spell goes with uh, the hero. Yeah. That we're getting to, so it looks okay. Elemental Evocation. Zero mana spell for Mage. Next elemental you play this turn costs two less. Minion. I don't think it's that good. Minion prep. I don't know how good it is. If if an elemental mage really shows up, yeah, it's probably not bad. Zero mana spell. I mean, I guess you can make this work, and there Dark might be on some things one. you want to... The worst part about this is just that they, ma- that they uh, nerf mana worm. Why? Because that would also proc off of casting well, this yeah. particular spell. I don't think his Mana Worm would go in the same deck with this, though, because this goes into an elemental deck, and Mana Worm goes into an aggressive deck. Mm, maybe. So that wouldn't really... But, I mean, we'll see uh, what they can do with it. Sightless Ranger, 5 mana, 3 for neutral minion, rush, overkill, summon 2, 1-1 one, one bats. Well, that means, basically, deal 2 damage, summon 2, 1-1, one, one. it's tough. Because 3... Uh, like for a five from three attack is not much, and overkilling something at that point isn't necessarily a given. Yeah, this, so I don't like it If this it was that a four much. drop, it would probably be a decent card. Oh yeah, a four it would be really good. I think. I, I don't, I don't sure. think it would be overpowered at four, but it would be good at four. Yeah, it would be it would be decent. But at five, I don't I don't like it. Right. Captain Hook Tusk is the rogue legendary. Eight mana, th- six three. Battle cry summon three pirates from your deck and give them rush. Noteworthy, it itself is a pirate, or she herself is a pirate. Yep, it's pirate. Uh, yeah, I mean, pirate rogue, we knew this was coming. Yeah. Uh, still, the question would still be that, like, what kind of pirates does this go with? Because there are some pirates that you're really not getting the value out of summoning and giving them rush. Yeah, pirates are kind of battlecry oriented a yeah. lot. Some, some like the ticket scalper was pretty good, with the overkill as well, draw two cards. Those were kind of the higher end, but... Um, I think we have to play around with this a bit uh, when yeah. the expansion is out. Uh, two mana priest spell Seance. Choose a minion, add a copy of it to your hand. Pretty good. It's better than Convert. That's pretty good. And Convert was okay. I think this is really good. I mean, Convert was just this, but uh, it could only target enemy minions. Mm-hmm. So, and I played that in the Cthulhu Priest when it was kind of new, right. because a lot of people were on a Cthulhu because everyone had got them for, for, for free, yeah. so there was a lot of Cthulhu decks on the, like, the lower ranks of the ladder, which yeah. is where I was playing, so I was just stealing their Cthulhu buffs yeah. to get even more Cthulhu buffs exactly. on my side. Yeah, this, I mean, this looks okay. There's a lot um, of versatility with this one. You can use that to get a copy of one of your own minions. Or enemy minions. Which would then be useful if you have a specific plan that you like having certain yeah. minions for. Or you could get that on enemy minions if they just have something stronger right now and you just n- need something. Exactly. Looks, looks pretty good. Gonk the Raptor is the Druid Legendary. 7 mana, 4, 9. After your hero attacks and kills a minion, it may attack again. Hey, this is how their shrine is supposed to yeah, work. Yeah, this is how their... Appara- I don't think this is going to work. No. It's because, not working. Uh, you have two shrines in your... Uh, uh, spirits, sorry. Spirits. Not shrines. You have two spirits in your deck uh, and one Gonk. Now you have to get... Both on the board at the same time, at least one of the spirits, and, uh, yeah, spirits, and him, and then you still have to get a decent enough attack value yeah. to get the draw out of it. It just doesn't work. Well, just the just uh, just the general idea of hero attack, Druid, it doesn't seem right. I mean, it, it, it's not that powerful, it's not going to be as power- powerful enough of an archetype, uh, in general. Yeah, it, it, it just isn't going to work. Yeah, they, they, they Druid got trashed, it's expensive. Uh, Shaman gets a new elemental minion, which is a 3 mana 3 3, the Bog Slosher, which has Battlecry return a friendly minion to your hand and give it plus 2 plus 2. I don't hate it. Shutterwalk? I was about to say that Shutterwalk comes to mind. Yeah, I mean, just hitting a chain gang with that plus 2 plus 2 is really, really good. So, this is. Bug in itself, 
That is a decent card. And in certain decks, specifically those that like that effect, it's a really great card. Yeah. I mean, Zola doesn't like do anything it. special except make the card gold. Yeah. I mean, exactly. it's a copy. It yeah, doesn't just copy. bounce it, but then again, the plus two, plus two. Yeah. And yeah, I like being it. able to get the battle cry off a second time. I like it. I'm not sure... Again, you said yeah. targeting a chain gang with it. Mm -hmm. It gets another bounce effect for your shutter walk. And the double chain And chain it gang. gets another chain gang yeah. effect for your shutter walk. That's really good. And it gives you a five, six four. chain gang. Yeah. That's pretty strong. So wait, yeah, wait, uh, four fives, right? They're two threes. Yeah. So if they're four, but still, that's really, really good. It's like the like when they're soul infused in Zoo Warlock. That's that's yes. some strong stuff. Lion Cracker, seven mana, five ten, neutral overkill, double his minions attack. I think it's too slow for seven drop. This is not gonna. Yeah, mm -hmm. this reminds mm -hmm. me of uh, like some of the Gorbash Berserk or something. Yeah. Just, uh, when know. you have a minion that's expensive, you need immediate impact these days. That's not gonna. Not gonna do it. Now here's a fun card. Yeah, the Undertaker, man. Eight mana, eight five has Battlecry gained the Death Rattle effects of three friendly minions that died this game. There's some stuff you can do with this. So first of all, there is already the Death Rattle Hunter, which is a decent archetype. Mm -hmm. We've seen this on the channel before. It works really well. Yeah. Uh, there technically is a Death Rattle Rogue. I don't think that's ever that popular, but it exists. It exists. Um. So we know that Death Rattle theme decks can yeah. work. And of course, Death Rattle theme decks will have Death Rattles dying. Exactly. So getting the Undertaker in there is just I mean, added value. Yeah, that looks really good. There, there, there's a lot of creativity I with mean, this too, which I like. I could see even a decks like uh, Tauntruid run this, just to get an extra Hadronok yeah, sprock if they sure. need it. So if it's already value with one specific Death Rattle, just imagine what it can do with three. three. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, next one is Gurubashi Hypermon. Hypermon, sorry. Hypermon. 7 mana, 5, 7. Battlecry, discover a 1-1 one, one copy of a Battlecry minion. It costs 1. Uh, I don't know. It depends on what you get. If you get, like, uh, a really good Battlecry, then yeah. Yeah, the problem uh, is variance here. Tough. Maybe it's, you can get a Myra or something. That would be pretty good, but... Uh, it's just not reliable enough, I think. No. Uh, the best... Uh, Card again, I believe, is the shark. Uh, Growl, I think his name is. Yeah, Growls. Uh, yeah. Because then you just have a one mana one one, which right. still eats a minion yeah. and then regurgitates it as a, mm -hmm. a, as a death rattle, which is huge value. Yes. But uh, on, average, on, on average, you're basically like drawing a card or getting a yeah. one mana two two or something like that. Exactly. That's kind of like the average of a battle cry. I don't think it's going to see play that much. Sand Drudge. 3 mana, 3-3 three, three for Priest, whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1-1 one, one zombie with Taunt. Kind of like Violet T-shirt, a little bit more defensive with the Taunts, and a little bit cheaper as well. Maybe. I don't hate it, but I also don't see where you would want to play this. Yeah, exactly. Because um, the only deck that I can think of that would cast enough uh, Priest spells to really get a good use out of this would be the uh, OTK, and the problem... Or generally the, the yeah, combo. Yeah, the topsy-turvy sort of... Yeah. No, not necessarily even the topsy-turvy that, uh, test right. subject version, but even the normal one. Yeah. But the problem is, you're trying to kill your opponent in one turn. Yeah. You're not getting any use out of the one one. Exactly. I mean, I guess in the topsy-turvy one, that makes more sense. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Because the test subject needs to be set up and blocking some damage during yeah. that phase, but I still don't think it's worth it. Maybe it's a defensive thing. measure, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. Marshawk announcer, five mana, six, five. Enemies attacking this have a 50% chance to attack someone else. Really good. Really bad. It doesn't... Uh, Arena? I, really good. Constructed? Bad. I... Okay. Someone else. That's... That works Only in this direction, right? Only enemies. Oh, and, okay. No, then it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. I, I thought if it, it worked, will, Of course, it would be ridiculous to go apart. I thought it worked like enemies. misdirection so that oh. you can also hit yourself. That, that way you just put up uh, just this on the board and have... Uh, Good chance of them hitting themselves. No, no, no. It's just enemies. So, uh, but what is really good is the four mana druid spell Mark of the Loa, which has a choose one, which gives a minion plus two plus four and taunt, or summons two, three, two raptors. I don't think this is really good either. I don't know. I don't like this card either. This card is very versatile, first of all, which mm. is kind of what druid does. Uh, two, four, and taunt is okay. Mm, I don't want two, four. Uh, and by the, th uh, by the three twos, I think they are pretty good. I don't know. I, I don't like this. I, I really don't think this is that good. 
We'll see. Where 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 will it get played? I'm not not too sold on this one. Snapjaw Shell Shifter Shell Fighter. Sorry, five mana three eight. Whenever an adjacent minion takes damage, this one takes it instead. This is an interesting one. Yes, especially because it doesn't say like when it gets attacked, redirected mm -hmm. or something, but it's whenever it takes damage. Yeah. Meaning you can do a lot of stuff with just protecting your important pieces in the deck. Uh, you play this with Star Wars right? Gastropod for as well. So your your opponent like you're giving essentially giving that little snail plus eight health. Yes. Which is a pain to deal with. N not in, not just even plus eight health. Even if you have a ten attack minion, it still doesn't uh, kill it. Because all the damage gets redirected, even the overkill yeah, damage. Exactly. And it, and the the snail is uh, poisonous. Yeah. So that seems like a good combination. That seems like a good combination. It also just in general is good for. If you're trying to play like a combo thing or anything that wants to keep a certain mm -hmm. minion alive, just keeping that minion alive for longer. Yeah, I, looks, I think this is good. overall pretty decent. Let's go see what people can do with that. Splitting image, secret for mage. When one of your minions is attacked, summon a copy of it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Don't know. You're running a lot of big stuff like this plus Lich King. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. This seems a bit too specific. I mean, I guess this could work in... The problem is, the decks that would work in is something along the lines of, like, big spell mage, but the spell is too yeah, small. Yeah, you don't want to really you want to play a secret, exactly. So, yeah. And, uh, I don't know about tempo mage. Probably not. Sul Jin is the hunter hero card. 10 mana battle cry. Cast all spells you played this game, target children randomly, and gain 5 armor. I was about to say the 5 armor is pretty relevant because Boom has shown us that 7 is also possible. Yeah. Uh, his hero power is deal two damage. Exactly, just deal two damage. Like the upgraded mage hero power, the ha charged hammer, yeah. common hero power, or which if you have somewhat, a steam sniper out, which is somewhat, um, somewhat underwhelming. The hero power, at least, but uh, it's pretty good though. Deal two, I'd have Rexar. I you you don't play this without Rexar, and then you play Deathstalker later. I mean, the hero power is still significantly better than the original hero power. Yeah, a little bit, but. Still, like, if you, you're going to play Control Hunter, you want to Rexar at the end. Also, the you're recasting all of your spells. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think you're playing a lot of Animal Companion to my side. I, I'm trying to think if there's any spells really in Hunter that you wouldn't want to recast. And I if mean, with, so, you'd just drop it. I mean, with targets chosen randomly, stuff like Kill Command and the Arcane Charter, of course. Yeah, yeah but right. there's very few of those that you run, and even the Kill Commands you oftentimes... Mm -hmm. Just keep for a lethal at the end. At least Shots is okay. Deadly Shot is cool. Yeah. Uh, animal Girls. Companions are pretty good. Animal Companions are Secrets. Good. Got a lot. Yeah, Secrets. This, I mean, this goes in the Secret Hunter, I would say. Probably. To just, just re to just fill up with Secrets. Go Spell Hunter as well. I mean, in Secret Hunter, it fills up all of your Secrets. Mm -hmm. And it summons a bunch of Wolves and Animal Companions. And it basically fills yeah, up Spell Stone, order. Spell Stone is good. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you can roll a bunch of Hoffers. Unleash the house. Looks good. I mean, this is, is kind of expensive for 10, but I still think it's a really good yeah, card. Looks looks right. Mojo Master C. He is 6 mana, 5-5. Five, five. Battlecry set each player's each player to 5 mana crystals. That's, yeah. a, that's an interesting mechanic. Uh, I like this a lot. I don't think it's that strong, but I like it a lot because it's, first of all, it's neutral combo disruption. It's neutral because, druid disruption. Because combos... Oftentimes rely on having full mana. Mm -hmm. It is yeah disrupts anything that rams, which is basically Dru exclusively druid. And it has some interesting ideas where warlock has some effects that destroy all mana crystals, and I think uh, priest now has two with surrender to madness. Yeah. And if you play one of those effects and then the mojo master afterwards, the yeah. disadvantage is negated. That's what I was thinking. Surrender to madness twice, and then and then mojo master to equal out. Maybe in, in Priest, I don't know. But in general, it, I think this is a good tech card. Yeah, mostly. I think so. Yeah, if, if you need it, that... There are works. a few combos where you can get some value out of it, but it's mostly a tech card. Yeah. We've mentioned Spirit of the Rhino before. Stealth for one turn. Your rush minions are immune the turn as summoned. Works well with the, the Rhino. Yeah. The Kali the Rhino. And, and again... Uh, there is Crowley. I was stuff. about to say, during the Witch Wood, you already said that there is a good uh, yeah. package for Warrior rush. with Rush. Yeah. And... And None of those cards yeah. are gone. That so, definitely yeah. got stronger. So that looks pretty good. Blood Sail Howler. Two mana, one one for Rogue. Rush. Battlecry game plus one plus one for each other pirate 
you control is also a pirate. And this is also one of the ones that you don't want to run with Captain Hook does. No. Because the major anti synergy. You're not getting the battle cry and the rush doesn't even help you. Because it has rush anyway. Yeah, that's I mean, again, it it kind of goes well with the idea of having a pirate rogue. Yeah. The problem is just that a lot of the rogue pirates and general pirates just don't go that well with each other as they should. It would go a lot well lot better if you pulled three with Captain Hook Tusk and then played this from hand. Because that's a five five. Yeah. With Rush, which is good. Um, next we got Brawl, but for Priest. Yeah, it's called Mass Hysteria. Force each minion to attack another random minion. Now this has the chance that everyone dies, right? It's, it's, which Brawl does not. Yeah, it also has a chance that more stuff lives. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is comparable to Brawl, but a bit more variance in there in total. Yeah, notice that Psychic Scream rotates, so Priest needed some impactful board clear. And this one can be played earlier, yeah. which is the important. Pr- the beast, I was about to say the priest within. The beast within! Give a friendly beast plus one plus one that it attacks another random minion. One mana hunter spell. Now I want to see a, the beast, uh, the priest within card that just yeah. does something similar but priest themed. Yeah, priest within. Um, oh, this looks not bad. This actually looks pretty good. It's essentially, it can essentially give a guy wind fury with a random attack. Yes, it, it can. You attack? I mean, I'm trying to think of this as... It removes one card, and if in the best case, also still leaves a buffed minion on the board. Yeah, exactly. There is also a crazy OTK with this in Knuckles. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. Crag Mother Frog, 6 mana, 4 6, Shaman Legendary. Battlecroy, return all spells you played last turn to your hand. Works with Spirit as well. Yes, and of course, uh, generally the idea that you know exactly what you're getting back, so you can yeah. plan this turn. Mm-hmm. Good with Zantimo as well. I'm not sure if there's any specific combos there. I don't think there really is, but there's a lot of value. Well, there for oh, sure. uh, um, unstable evolution. Because if you cast that with the echo like eight times, you're getting eight unstable evolutions on your hand. Yeah, but I, I, but I mean, there's like no really strong combo there, like that, like lets you win the game. No, because or... you need to take an extra turn for that. With like bloodlust, 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 but that doesn't happen. But still, it looks looks pretty good. Tree speaker, five mana, four four for druid. Balakrai, transform a tree and do 5-5 angels. If tree and druid was a thing, this would probably be good. The question is, does that make tree and druid a thing? And I think the answer Plus, is no. Probably not. Scourge, 4 mana mage spell. Deal 4 damage to a minion, costs 1 if you played an elemental last turn. Good. This is good in elemental mage and not nowhere else, basically. Yeah, it's wing blast for mage. Yeah, elemental mage. the condition is easier to fulfill mm. than wing blast. <laughs> but yeah. Looks alright. No, wing blast is easier. Right? A minion dying that turn? Well, it means you have to kill a minion first. Yeah, um, that typically happens a lot. I don't know. But I like this card either way. I mean, if good. you're playing Elementals, then playing an Elemental... Having yeah. played an Elemental last turn is easier than uh, yeah. a minion dying. So. Regenerate, zero mana, priest spell, restore three health. This is a good one to pull off of Lyra. If you just keep cycling. And there's also a combo with this with uh, Xerath Cloning Gallery. Pulling... Vel and Malagos and Arcanai, and then two regenerates for 0 for 32. I was about to say, this is really good with Arcanai and similar effects, where yeah. 0 mana heal 3 is really good. Yes. 0 mana heal 3 <laughs> is okay. It's alright. This also, of course, works with all the healing synergies that Priest right. has, which is the only reason why this card is even worth considering. Exactly. That's because right. on its own, it's just shit. Yeah, but, it, I mean, Resort 3, it's not a bad card. Yeah, but it's just not worth the slot in the deck. Mm, pro- probably not. Ornary Tortoise. It's a 3 mana, 3 5 neutral beast with battle card, deal 5 damage to your hero. Maybe Art Paladin, but I don't think anything else. Because, I mean, you're getting 1 health plus off of the regular vanilla stat line, dealing 5 to your hero. I don't think a lot of a lot of decks would like that. Uh, this could maybe work in Druid or Hunter with the beast synergies, but I'm not sure. Mm, not, not too convinced. 8 mana Demon Bolt. Destroy a minion, cost 1 less for each minion you control. Hmm. I'm not too sure about that. Destroying sure a minion that. seems like a 4 to 5 mana effect. Mm-hmm. But if you already have a lot of minions, this basically says maybe run this in Zoo to get around Big Tall. Maybe Zoo. But that's about all that I can see when from this. On the board. They, uh, they actually, I heard that they had it originally at 7 mana, but it said it was 2 hour powered with, uh, because you could play it on the same turn as Blood Reaver. Oh. You can play it on the same turn as Harik. Yes. Which is also that just is true. 
Yeah, that's also, one that's also not a bad combo. Kill one. Two mana, flash of light for Paladin, restore four, draw a card. Looks good. It's, I mean, two mana card draw is okay ish on its own, and he, like, having healing synergies in Paladin. Yeah. It's, it's like shield block with one less health for one less mana. Yeah, but, uh, but I mean, right. Warrior has armor synergies, Paladin has healing synergies, so yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you're gonna, you're gonna thick, thackle yourself, gonna leave your one health with all the armor, and uh, heal all of them. All the stuff you want. Seven mana, five, eight. Warlock minion, Blood dro Troll Sapper. After a friendly minion dies, deal two damage to the enemy hero. You gotta find some combo with that. It's uh, it might go in zoo, somewhat counterintuitively because you drop it in zoo and you kind of avoid a big board twist like flame strikes because that would then deal fourteen to the hero or well, well. Yeah. So I maybe protect yourself against that. This seems like something that would be really good with with effects like Unleash the Hounds. Yes. The problem is you don't really mm -hmm. have anything like that in uh, Warlock where they also have like exactly. Rush or Charge. And as a two-turn thing, yeah. I'm it's not very sure. very high cost. Blood Claw is a one mana 2-2 two -two weapon for Paladin with Battle Pride deal 5 damage to your hero. Also possibly the heal stuff, but also possibly odd Paladin. <laughs> Yes. So want to be aggressive? Mm. Maybe. That's okay. Yeah. Cheaty Angle Biter. Two mana, two one, lifesteal and battle card deal one damage. Noteworthy here that the lifesteal, of course, also applies to the battle card. Yeah, of course. But it's still not that mm -hmm. great of a card. Yeah, maybe not. It, it can be alright, maybe in arena or something, but uh, you get uh, a Yeah, that's deal. definitely a good pick if you need a two drop in arena, yeah. but that's about it. Serrated Tooth. Uh, one mana, one three, rogue weapon? Yes. Death Rattle give your minions rush. I don't see it over Necrium Blade right now. Yeah, also the thing is, I don't know what you're trying to achieve with this. You're killing it off and then you're trading some boards of... I don't know. This seems kind of weird. Yeah. 4 mana, 3, 5, half-time scavenger, neutral minion, stealth, overkill, gain 3 armor. Arena. Yeah. 0 mana, druid spell, pounce, give your hero plus 2 attack this turn. Maybe this with Gonk. Somewhat. I, I've heard a lot of people say this is not that good of a card, and I'm tempted to agree. This kind of feels like... I'm not sure if this is better or worse than Claw, honestly. No, it only works when you're really trying to get that hero to attack multiple times and probably also draw cards with it. Because Claw just gives you, for one extra mana, gives you two armor yeah. too. But then again, that's also not that great of an effect. I don't know. Marshawk Enforcer, 8 mana, 214, Taunt and Divine Shield. Call Let me change your mind. The point is, Priest relax his card. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. I mean, Inner Fire. Yeah, Inner Fire. Lady, I mean, in, lady in White. Divine Spirit, Inner Fire, and this just deals 28 yeah. just with those three cards. Hey, Divine Spirit, Topsy Turvy. Yeah. That's a one turn thing. <laughs> yeah. Now I just have to give it Rush or Charge. Yeah. Well, specifically well, Charge, I guess. That's tough. Somehow. But, but still. It looks looks interesting. Looks interesting, and sometimes it can be a really good tool to stuff to just maybe get off of Stonehill or something if you just need that big guy. Yeah, I was about to say it's also just a huge taunt yeah. in its own. Huge taunt. Hand hunter's hatchet. Um, that's a war. That's a hunter's hunter, weapon. Yes. Two mana, two two battle cry. If you control a beast, gain plus one durability. This is really good. Um, playing it on two is a bit questionable because you oftentimes won't have a one drop beast yeah, necessarily you, have, you need that. to be someone but still uh, it's if you pretty good have a beast as a, as a two mana two three weapon it's perfectly fine yeah it's, it's, a, really it's like Stormforce to ask about the overlord pretty good spirit of the lynx three mana zero three hunter spirit stealth for one turn whenever you summon a beast give it plus one plus one works with the uh, lynx Loa as well? Yes. Which we're gonna uh, see? Let's, I guess let's talk about those together. Okay. Kind of. uh, Halazi the Lynx is a 5 mana 3 2 for Hunter Beast. Battlecry, fill your board with 1 1 Lynxes that have Rush. So, yeah. Those yes. would, with the spirit, be 2 2s with Rush. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of value. Now, of course, similar things can be done with Unleash the Hounds. Unleash, Talksmonger, Quest. There's some stuff there eh? to, to experiment around with. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Unleash plus Spirit is pretty good. Looks decent. It, those two, I think, are both pretty good cards, and those might be somewhat important, especially uh, Halazi's kind of important for the yeah. theoretical beast-only hunter. Yeah. The one that doesn't run any other minions exactly. because it, it itself is a beast. Of yeah. course, the spirit is not. Neither is 
Houndmaster or any of the Houndmaster other. Houndmaster Shaw. Yeah. Dragon Maw, Scorcher, 5 mana, 3 6, neutral, battle cry. Deal one to all other means, it's a dragon. I was about to say it's important to know that this is a dragon. Maybe one of the weaker side if Dragon Warrior just so happens to happen that it needs more, well, more I mean, control. The nice thing about Dragon Warrior specifically with this card is that Warrior has a lot of effects where they want their minions to either be damaged or to take damage. Yeah. Which this will allow them to do while mm -hmm. also... I mean, this is Whirlwind. It's a battle cry, basically. Yeah. And Whirlwind is a card that Warriors like. Yes. I mean, Blood Razor really like and other other similar cards are now preferred. Not sure if dragons do that much. So if you're building a deck around dragons... I... Yeah. We'll see. Arena Fanatic. 4 mana, 2 or 3 battle cry. Give all minions in your hand plus 1 plus 1. Seems a bit slow. Interestingly enough, this art depicts two specific things. One, it shows the link has a lot of Phantom Force mm -hmm. Lynxes apparently, which I don't really see how this works, yeah. but it does have a bat on his face. Yes. Which that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, with the uh, oh, Yeah, That's true. Also, I think there was a few things that did bu that did profit off of hand buffing, mm -hmm. so having a neutral card that does that seems yeah, kind of maybe. okay. And of course, all the cards that would be good with cards like Soul and Fusion are also good with this. Dragon Roar, two mana warrior spell, add two random dragons to a hand. This is pretty good. If this happens to happen, I, I mean, if, if a dragon warrior goes down, this seems like an auto include. I mean, the calculation is very easy, even for normal warriors, where you compare this, uh, random cards are worse than card draw, mm -hmm. dragons are better than average cards, yeah. this is basically the value of arcane intellect. Yeah. If you now also have dragon synergies, it's really good. It's a really good card. Uh, one mana warrior spell, Devastate, you have four damage to a damaged minion. Not sure if you wouldn't just run execute. I was about to say execute. I mean, Probably. arena patron reference. Um, five mana, three three overkill summon another arena patron. This mm. is less exploitable than the, the normal patron, patron. Yeah. Arena treasure chest. Four mana, zero four. Death rattle. Draw two cards. Worst card I've ever seen. I mean, horrible. I guess arena is in the name already, but even there, I don't. Even see there, it. it's it's disgustingly bad. That's, and that's horrible. The only other thing that comes to mind is death rattle decks, but even those, oh, they they can bad. have better death rattles. It's so bad. Alkanai Phantasm Balakrai. This turn, your healing effect still damages stats like Soul Priest, but it's only this turn. I mean, it's it's a two mana three two, which is good stats, mm -hmm. and it only being one turn means it it doesn't have the downside of the Alkanai that yeah. you can never heal yourself until exactly. it is removed, and you might have something removed yourself to not die. Yeah, looks right. So. This just seems like a really good card. Yeah, looks good. Banana Buffoon, the meme card. One of the meme cards. 3 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Battle Cry, add 2 bananas to your hand. This isn't even that bad. Maybe it's like a combo thing. It's like it's kind of like um, Pumpkin Peasant. That It reminds me of that type of card. I mean, it reminds me of Mukla of the uh, Tyrant yeah. of the Veil, vale, which has the exact same effect. And mm -hmm. it's, what is it, a 7 mana, 5-5 five, five something? They, they could need to keep an ass to stand it, I don't know. Um, Booty Bay Bookie. Two mana, three, three, battle card, give your in the coin. Gonna say the Banana Buffoon also is really good if you have something that procs off of casting spells. Yeah, or combos. Yeah. Booty Bay Bookie doesn't look that good. I don't like it. Um, Giving your opponent in the coin is pretty cute. Yeah, no. Not that good. Dozing Marksman, two mana, zero, four has... Uh, plus four attack while damaged. Now here's the thing that I wanted to bring up, right? They a, f a while ago they removed the keyword enrage from the game with the idea or the reason that we'd barely use it. Now why they do this expansion? They bring like a bunch of cards that you would use it if they had it. Yes, like I, a bunch of them. Like literally right after they made that change, they short like that was around the time when they yeah. released the new expansion at the time, and there was also an enrage card in there. Uh, Why? Bring it back. Bring it rage back, and just keep it there. Why not? The problem is, I don't, I don't even hate it because they didn't remove inspire, and they're not doing inspire cards anymore. Yeah, but uh, this is something that doesn't really make the card text longer by just enrage plus four attack. I mean, either way, I mean, this you card can also is... drop the has, and then it's just f plus four attack while damaged. Whatever, I like but... keywords. Uh, this doesn't look like a particularly good card. Three mana, I mean, three four Dracari. I mean, it, it claims to be the sleeper in the set. Yeah, that's flavor text. 
Uh, three mana, three for the Drakari Trickster Battlecry. Give each player a copy of a random card from their opponent's deck. This works particularly well if your deck is trash. And but you don't want your deck to be trash. Mm, yeah, maybe if you're playing like, uh, like Hemet, Mechathun sort of thing. Yeah, this also works in Arena because you can get another card off of it. Um, you will be the first one yeah. to be able to use that card if it's somewhat late in the game and you can't have the mana to play it. Probably I, too RNG heavy to really be good, but we'll see. Yeah, again, I don't, I don't see it in Constructed, really. Um, maybe some exceptions are with the High Priestess or whatever yeah, she was called. Maybe. Because she likes having cards that are, didn't start in your deck. Exactly. Uh, Quest Mage, if that shall become a thing, no. might like this somewhat. But then again, you have more minions here that you than spells. Yeah. Four more champ, five mana, one one. Battlecry summon a five five hotshot. It's six six stats for five. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, it's it's basically that. Big time racketeer for one less. With uh, of course a five a six six. We'll yeah. see. Now here's a weird card. One mana zero two Gurubashi offering. At the start of your turn, destroy this and gain 8 armor. Oh, you remember what I just said about uh, Arena Treasure Chest? Yeah, I take that back. This is the worst card I've ever seen. 1 minute gain, gain 8 armor seems okay. It's your opponent can interfere with it. That's not, but that's not even... Uh, 1 mana for 8 and put that in your deck? That's not even good. I mean, it's better than Ironhide. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, this is not This is not good. I don't like this at all. This is not, not a good card. Helpless Hatchling, 1 mana, 1-1 one, one Death Rattle, reduce the cost of a beast in your hand by 1, it's also a beast. I guess this is okay? Is this better than Jules McCall? And a mid-range hunter? Possibly? I don't even think so. We'll see. 4 mana, 3-5, Ice Cream Peddler, I, I like the idea of this card. Battlecry, if you control a Frozen Minion, gain 8 armor. It's probably not that strong. Uh, the only thing that I can think of is... Cryostasis? Um, Yes. Maybe in Shaman. Likely. 4 mana, 3, 5, regenerate and thug. At the start of your turn, restore 2 health to this minion. Not good. Mm, probably not that good. Rumble Tusk Shaker, 4 mana, 3, 2, Death Riddle, summon a 3, 2, Rumble Tusk Breaker, their attack team. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't see it. No, compared to Serenite Chain Gang, it's worse. Yeah, also, it's Death Riddle that summons another minion. Yeah. This seems kind of... Comparable to uh, Karen Bloodhoof, yep. and that guy doesn't seem to play, and I cycle. think he has better stats for the value. Yeah, maybe so. Narina. I don't know. Scarab Egg, 2 mana, 0, 2. That's what will summon 3, 1, 1 Scarabs. I don't see it. There's better eggs. I mean, two, 3, 3 for 2 is okay. There's better eggs. I don't think it's got a place in most death level. I mean, egg the only decks in which I would work is the token type strategies where you want to go wide. Yeah. But then again, you'd have to proc the death rattle on top of that. I don't see it. Two mana, zero two serpent ward. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to the enemy hero. This was uh, hyped up as being the first uh, neutral totem, which is a blatant lie. I can't think of the other one, but nightmare amalgam. Oh yeah, they they advertise this as the first neutral totem, which is a lie. But uh, it's also there's bad. also barely any any totem synergy in the game at all. Yeah. Bad and there's no <laughs> neutral totem synergy, so it doesn't help exactly. much. Bad card, um, not gonna be relevant. Two mana, two one, shield breaker, battle cry, silence, and any minion with taunt. This is pretty alright. This is, uh, in aggro decks. I was about to say aggro decks love this. Mm, yeah, probably. Mm, the problem is it's not odd for some decks, but it's Iron Break all for one mana less, and as an aggro deck, you typically s just silence taunts anyway. And exactly. Else. So, yeah, this is perfect in an. Even or at least non odd aggro deck. Yep. The problem is that the two decks I can think this fitting in best, of course, are odd rogue and odd paladin. Yeah. I guess yeah. even paladin, maybe. Maybe zoo. I don't know. Maybe zoo. Zoo, okay. not zoo, because Kalaseth. Tough. Spell Zerker. Oh, yeah, it's another thing, yeah. right? Kalaseth. Yeah, Kalaseth, everything. Like, every two man, two mana card in the game is like, this could be good if Kalaseth or hits out. Yeah, Scarab Egg. It's like, yeah. I'm not running this over Kalaseth. No, no, never. 2 mana, 2, 3 spell, Zerker has spell damage plus 2 while damaged. A.K.A. Enrage, spell damage plus 2. Um... Not sure. Maybe. I mean, the stats are okay, the spell damage seems completely irrelevant, and then, then the stats aren't good enough to justify yeah, it. You can ping it and then... something? I don't know. Stolen Steel, 2 mana, rogue spell, discover a weapon from another class. Best case scenario, twigger the world tree... 
chances to get that? None no. Ever. So, you can't discover rogue weapons, which yeah. is an advantage if you want to have effects that proc off of playing yeah. uh, cards that are from a different class. This doesn't work with Spectral, spectral Cutlass, no. which is arguably the best effect that synergizes off of that. Yeah. Um, it's. I mean, it has a clever name. It's a two mana discover one card. It's a very specific card. It's a weapon. I don't. Valonir think it's good. is good. Maybe. Um, there is definitely good cards. To maybe pull. Cleaver is good, but you often never you get a lot of garbage. I mean, if you desperately need removal, the Rune Spear for Vanish, but mm, that maybe. still seems very far fetched. Twig is the best one if you can get it, because uh, then you'll like you'll have ten mana and turn five, which is really strong. You have ten. You have 10 mana whenever you wanted to because you can just use your hero yeah, power to But get you can it. play it on 4. Yeah. The first, and then you can break it on 5 and have 10 mana. Wardbringer is the last one. 1 mana, 2 1 Shaman. Minion Battlecry. If you play 2 spells, this will deal 2 damage. It's probably pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you, can, right. you can just play it on 1 and it's decent. As and, 2 1, yeah, it's okay. And uh, once you are in a situation where you're casting multiple spells a turn. Anyway, yeah, this is not another thing to have. Uh, I mean, Merc Spark Eel is good. Merc Spark Eel is good in even shot, yes. Yeah. And this is one cheaper, of course, but worse stats. Uh, has a requirement. No, no, what I'm saying what I'm saying is also in a similar vein where it's like a yeah. deal 2 with a requirement. Deal 2 is not a bad battle card for a very stats. small minion. Because it typically clears a minion off the board at that point. Yeah, and also, this just doesn't really lose out on stats for that. Yeah, yeah, it looks alright. If it was like a 1-1, one, one, then it would be more questionable of cost 2. Probably not. But uh, this way... Pretty good. Can't complain about it. So that's that's all the cards, right? Yes. That's all the cards for the Rastakhan's Rumble. Now there is the shrines, which we're not going to talk about right now because there's too many of them. And uh, well, we can talk about the Rumble run in great detail next week yeah. because by then the expansion will be out. Yes, yeah. correct. And the it's Rumble run on itself the 4th of December. Will not be out, so there's a lot of yeah, stuff to talk about there, then. there. And also about the, of course, the uh, shaping meta. But thank you for sticking with us through this entire video if you did, and maybe the entire series for these card reveals. I'm hyped for this expansion. I think it's one of the better ones, Them just thematically, the way I like them. Yeah. It's one of the, one of the cooler ones I've seen since. Um, I don't know if it's the be uh, I don't know if it's the coolest since Gadget Sand, but it's. It's pretty cool. I like how it randomly has some wrestlers in there. Yeah, the, re the, the rest of the 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 yeah. Undertaker, the... The tag uh, team guys. Yeah, the yeah, Rumble Tusks. Yeah, yeah, that was really, That was really good. And there's some, uh, some in the flavor text, is also WWE references, so if you want to go check that out. And of course, I mean, trolls. Trolls are great. Frogs. I'm not sure how I like trolls, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a cool expansion, so I'm hyped for this, see how it turns out. And we're going to be opening all of our starting packs, of course, on uh, hopefully Tuesday night, yes. soon as the expansion drops. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe to Trash Can TV for a lot of Rastakhan's Rumble stuff, a lot of Hearthstone coverage every week, and a lot of gameplay as well. So, uh, yeah, like the video if you appreciate the work we did. And uh, JJ. That's it? That's it.